Hi, everyone. Welcome to Domain Sherpa. We've got another awesome Domain Sherpa review for everybody. Drew is back, and we also have Shane and Josh on the show today. As usual, we play the domain game where the Sherpas mention a domain they recently bought or sold, and the other Sherpas try and guess the price, with the winner getting some Sherpa swag. For that, make sure you check out the Media Options and Domain Sherpa store, which is now live at shop.mediaoptions.com. We also discuss a bunch of names coming up for auction on Namejet, and it's a great list with names like bitcube.com. Com, gardeningtips.com, offshore.org, and honeybadger.com. Hence the show's title, Money Badger. We also provide some information related to some really exciting things coming up in the domain space, but I don't want to spoil it, so you'll just have to watch or listen. So let's get to it right now here on Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. What's up, Sherpa Network? Thank you for tuning in today. My name is Jonathan Tenenbaum, a.k.a. JT, a.k.a. J on, and I am the host and producer of Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. Today's show is a Domain Sherpa review, where we get into the minds of successful domain investors using real examples so we can learn strategies and tactics to become more successful domain name investors ourselves. These are the experts. There are now four segments to a Domain Sherpa review. They are as follows. We got one, we got the grand opening. That's where I intro all the Sherpa we see what's going on with them. We talk about maybe some current events and things like that. Number two is the domain game. And that's where we hear what the Sherpas recently bought or sold. Everybody guesses on what they believe the buy or sell price to be. We keep score and eventually give out prizes to the winner. We give out uh, swag, media options or domain Sherpa swag, which you can check out at shop.mediaoptions.com. That is shop.mediaoptions.com. The third segment. Oh, there it is. Look at that. There's the hoodie. You know, actually, here, check it out. Wait, wait, wait. And uh, our boy, Braden. Braden, this is coming in a care package very soon. Oh, uh, we can't see your mug, Shane, because it's because uh, you got oh, the. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, no. I dropped it this morning. Uh, well, I, <laughs> oh, no. I can get you one. I got this. Okay, good. This one here is Braden's. It's going out in the mail, along with the media options, the Mo Money, the astronaut hoodie. You know what I mean? Boom. All good. Definitely. Oh, that's uh, sweet. Looks mad comfy. Go to shop.mediaoptions.com and you can get yourself one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The one and, thing and to be to be honest, I, I don't even think we make profit on that. Do I don't think we do. That's what I've been saying. I'm like, we just push it because we want people to wear our gear. But the uh, yeah, exactly. Keep in mind when you buy the size though, they're European sizes. So like that was an XL, and uh, it's actually a large because it's a European XL, which is an American large, I guess. So yeah. you know because the Europeans are smaller. Yeah. And uh, so, uh, but anyway, so, you know, that's the hoodie. Um, so it'll be some kind of swag that'll go out to, uh, to the winner. Um, and then the third segment is Name Jack and the Jet, sponsored by our good friends at Name Jet. And that's where we review a list of domains coming up for auction. And we talk about what the Sherpas like, they don't like, which names they're interested in, what they think they should sell for, what might be good opportunities, what might be some names to avoid. And then finally, segment four, we got grand closing. That's where we discuss anything we haven't covered already. What's going on in the domain space, looking at market trends, current events, allowing the guests to talk about anything they might want to promote or mention that we haven't already talked about. So with that, that is what is good. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to introduce the Sherpas. I'm going to start out to my right. I got my boy Shane Coltra, a.k.a. Sugar Shane, a.k.a. Honey Shane, a.k.a. Mike Rowe. Don't you know? What it is, man. DSAD.com. That's where he's got his daily domain list. Go check it out. You don't want to miss that if you're investing in domains. I know a lot of folks. My brother actually is up on the, he's uh, Billy, who does the post production on the show. Shout out to Billy. He's also got his ape, Chill Walton. Go ahead, Billy, throw up Chill Walton right on the screen. Let everybody see what's good. But um, Shane, he is like the biggest cheerleader of your list lately, man. He's oh, uh, he's great. hit me up. He's like, I bought two, two more domains off of Shane's list. You know, so uh, I wanted to tell you that, that that was a uh, some direct. It. You know, you can you can hate on it, but if you'd have bought the good names over 12 years on that list, you'd be doing just fine. You'd be doing just oh, fine. Yeah. yeah. Well, that would be an amazing index. If you could create an index, if you could like track. Actually, it doesn't seem like it would be that complicated, but like it's just a lot of, you know, data. We tr input, we've, but ever you... since Travis has come on, we've tracked everything. So every every name that we put on there and its final results, we've tracked. But that's 
God, I think we've been doing it five years. He wasn't there for the first seven. Wow, but but the possible. next, but the next, the next, the next jump after that is, you know, so yeah. this is what it ended up selling for, you know, and it was on our list, but then how long did that person hold it? And then what did it actually yeah. sell for at retail? So few of these things are going to be transparent, but most of the names that are going on the list though, I would say are probably names that would end up in name bio because they're probably selling through, you yeah. know, after Nick or Sato or, you know, yeah, Dan or something. We, exactly. They, almost every name on the list last four years have sold, even if it's got no bids at, at the time I put it up, it's yeah. everything gets bought now. Everything. Um. Well, you I, just, know. I just bought I just bought a name so it so that I have something to talk about, guys. Nice. You know, I actually was going to do the same thing. I was going to buy one last night, and uh, so I have so I'd have a name to talk about. It's um, the first time I've logged into expireddomains.net in like a month. Just logged in, <laughs> bought a name, real quick. Nice, good man, good. I'm excited to talk about it. All right, so with that dsad.com, there's also some interesting anecdotes from Chain and his squad. And, uh, you know, so it's good, good content for sure. So make sure you check that out. He's also got beehouse.com, Artisan Honey. Soon the Colonel White and Fur White Honey Batch is coming out. That's going to be NFT'd. How many of those are you going to do? How many total? 26. 20? I already got, oh. uh, I don't have it here. I already just started pouring. I got the honey. I got. Is the I'm label? Dipping it. Is yeah, the label so I got done? the labels. They came in today. And then I dip it like Maker's Mark, but it's in a gold wax. Awesome. And I got so 20. Sick. I got 26 different letters stamped on top. So it's A to Z. Dude, that drop might, there might be gas wars on that drop to get those, <laughs> yo. That's going to be serious. And I'm every, definitely getting saw, one. Well, real saw? quick. So the label, since the label's ready, Billy, throw up the label. Boom. Everybody can see what that's going to look like. Tell me that's not dope. Um, so good. So good. And uh, yeah, man. So that could, there's going to be a bit of a, there could be a bit of a and rush. You saw, the, you saw the original it? NFT, I mean, right? Like the I, one with the monkey. Yeah. Yeah, right. but you 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 need to like twenty six. I mean, like, dude, you need to auction these. You can't just put them out and buy it now because oh no, the well, entire ape community is gonna want one of these things. Never mind the domain community. I mean, you're gonna have like five hundred people or a thousand people trying to buy twenty six jars. That's what I mean. It's gonna be a real. There's gonna be a real rush. This is gonna be a legit drop, man. There's gonna be a secondary that's market for these. Yeah. Let me get one ahead. Let me get one ahead of time, yeah, yeah. though. <laughs> and there's one there's one that's gonna drop that the, he has a, the gold hat the gold pimp cane and the oh, golden boots. no there's a special one oh, oh no <laughs> yo, yo I'm in. and you know what the real <laughs> listen you know what the real deal is, <laughs> is oh my god this the, we've just gone off track immediately it hasn't right. even been Funny. two minutes <laughs> It hasn't even begun yet, and we're All right, like fair, fair. The listeners are like, the, listen, the listeners are literally like this right now. No. <laughs> hey, but right. it started listen, with bhouse.com, the name you. I purchased right. right here. Yeah. True. Yeah. True. That's it. True. That's the that's the backbone it, of this. That's it all comes back to domains because it's all built on the backbone of a company. And would I, you it. say? This would you say perhaps that all roads lead to domains? Absolutely. That's right. Listen, that's where this it all start starts. One year ago, almost to the day, it could even actually be to the day, I did an interview with Michael Saylor talking about how if he believes that, uh, uh, that actually, no, it was on my birthday. So it was 11 months ago. God, just to think about what has happened in the last 11 wow. months. Wow. So the Saylor interview wasn't right. even a full year ago? No, it was 11 months ago. Wow. And that's crazy. So crazy, crazy. That could have been 10 years ago. That's what I'm but, saying, yeah. Um, the point that I was trying to make is that, you know, we, I said, look, if you believe that Bitcoin is the steel of the digital, you know, the steel in order to build the digital economy, then domain names are the bedrock on which that digital economy will be built. And so, you know, you can't build a skyscraper on a bed made of sand. You can't build a skyscraper on, on, on mud and dirt. You need bedrock. And if you got bedrock and you got steel, you can go as high as you can, as high as you want. Meaning you can build as big of a business as you possibly want, as long as you got a bedrock underneath and steel frames. And so, um, you know, it all ties back. And, and, and I understand, you know, people want us to focus on domains and we're going to do that today. But um, I, I do think that it's important that people understand that these things are, are all interconnected. And it's, I think it's detrimental to think about any of these particularly digital asset classes, but I would argue that every single asset class on earth today is correlated. 
And so I think it's important to look at this stuff more holistically and not, you know, get into a channeled yeah. Yeah, myopic uh, mindset. But yeah. um, it all started with a domain, bhouse.com. Bhouse.com. And, and also- so this is the point I wanted to make is that honey lasts forever, literally. Like we still have honey from like the Egyptian times. And so, yeah. um, Dude, you know, this, this never thing, opening that bottle, you know, listen, yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. going to be crazy. That's going to be, be crazy. Fun. It's, uh, I mean, again, that's building a business and building, you know, and having a, when we started it, nobody thought about NFTs or marketing from uh, using a monkey, like, but it all, it's wonderful how it just all kind of flows through. And the first thing I saw is that, that ape that I bought and I go, that's my new guy. That's my new marketing guy. Like yeah. I'm going to get him an agent because he's, I'm also going to talk to uh, the beer. We have a beer company that's killing it. It's not, they used to make it local, but now they're packaging and they're going to be the next Kona brewery. They're just amazing beer. So I'm going over to talk to him next Friday, a week from Friday about Colonel White and Fur's uh, heifer bison. White, you know. Wow. White beer. Yeah. The white ale. So, we're gonna put, so I, my, my monkey's going to need an agent. And yeah, so see, that's what it is, man. I mean, we are in the digital economy. The metaverse is the, it's taking over. And, uh, you know, that's so, what's up. All right. So, okay. DSADBHouse.com. He's also got wormcastings.com, which is worm poop fertilizer for your plants. Great for cannabis mm-hmm. plants. Great for other plants. Perfect Make it happen. Cannabis. So, again, Shane Coltra, a.k.a. Sugar Shane, a.k.a. Honey Shane, a.k.a. Mike Rowe. If you don't know, now you know. All right. That's what it is. That rhymed on purpose. That's what, what I'm talking about. So, let's keep it, keep it moving. All right, we haven't had my dude here for a minute. The uh, the man, the myth, the boss, Andrew Rosner, a.k.a. Morpheus, a.k.a. John Galt, a.k.a. the Dirk Diggler domain names. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the Dirk Diggler of digital assets, you know, the market maker, the hidden hand, number one domain broker in the world, the world crypto enthusiast, also founder, publisher of Gondrepreneur.com. Number one blog for the cannabis industry, also offering great B2B marketing services and all that good stuff. People kind of get it twisted, no pun intended, with Gondrepreneur. They think, uh, you know, that it's literally just all about the content, but it's also just an amazing marketing service and tool uh, for B2B uh, cannabis businesses uh, to connect, market, promote their stuff. Um, And uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, Drew's been kind of out and about on his uh, National Lampoon's European vacation for the last like two weeks. He's still got some more to go, but we were able to pin him down in this little window that he happens to be uh, at home making it happen. So uh, so that's what's up. So uh, what's up, Drew? Welcome, welcome. And yeah, uh, super, super happy to be back. Yeah, man. And then last but certainly not least, we got my boy Josh Reason, a.k.a. Bjorn Borg, a.k.a. Harry Kane, hosted Digital Fortune here on the Domain Sherpa Network. But we've been pulling them on the actual like core domain Sherpa shows, reviews and down the rabbit hole so much that it's like he's like, man, like, when are you going to let me get some time to actually record some of my own shows? And, and you know, maybe, <laughs> maybe, man, we'll see. We're having too much fun doing what we're doing. Also, the founder of DNWE, domain name marketplace. Uh, get yourself subscribed. Great sales, great buying and selling opportunities. Also, successful domain name investor in his own right and heavy into crypto, NFTs, board apes, Z horses. Curio cards now. Curio cards, son. Get ready. They're going live. You with should just name the three things he's not in. <laughs> no, you got curio cards, don't you? Dude, I'm yeah, no, I'm just it. saying the three I'm things that he's not in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Exactly. You're right. I should have probably like, uh, I don't even know what those would be at this point. You know what I mean? Are you an alphabetist? You have alphabetist? No, I'm not an alphabetist. There we go. Uh, Boom. I'm like, it's, you know, I can hit one that he's not in. I know Shane is. Shane's into his alphabetics. That's one of his things. Anyway, but we're not going to go down those roads. We got to, we'll do a rabbit hole by the end of the week. We'll get that rolling. We got some really cool stuff happening there. Uh, but we have some amazing things happening in the world of domains. You know, people think that we're, uh, you know, like we're not focused, but we are doing some, some big stuff. I mean, if you haven't listened to it or, or watched it yet, uh, Drew and I did an interview with Pedro de Naranjo. Uh, of Noster Capital, who is a uh, hedge fund manager. Um, And uh, we had a really, really insightful, good conversation about from an institutional investor perspective, you know, what does the domain name business and industry need in order to make domains as a, as a more attractive as an investment to the institutional side. And, uh, you know, so it actually, he kind of flipped the script on us and, uh, you know, sort of interviewed us asking us questions to better understand 
kind of how it all works and provided some really, really great insight, which, uh, you know, we've been having a lot of internal kind of conversations and offline type of stuff, you know, furthering that along. And, uh, you know, the response is interesting. There hasn't been a huge public response. In fact, somebody even called that out on LinkedIn. They're like, man, for such an important interview and conversation, it's like there's a lot of crickets, you know, more people complain when we don't talk about domains than seem to actually want to talk about domains when we're talking about domains. But I get it. But I will say this. I will say that it sparked a lot of offline combos and really interesting dialogue and some stuff that we've got uh, going on, which is really, really cool. And it was, uh, you know, Pedro is an extremely smart, successful dude and uh, brought a really, really great perspective for us and an important an important point of view. Um, for domain names, because, you know, we kind of always seem to be sort of behind the scenes, you know, and, and, and you know, and in order to really get out in the forefront in this new world where digital assets are accessible, investable and super popular, uh, you know, domains are killing it, but could be even better. So anyway, so if you haven't checked that out, check it out. That was really, really great. Um, and, uh, you know, we've got some other things. I don't know what we can announce and not announce. I mean, there's some stuff floating out there publicly about some things, some cool things we've got going on, but I think we got to be kind of, we can't, we can't say anything yet. Can we, Drew, I mean, what, what's the deal? I mean, we, we can say, I think, um, you know, we are, uh, working with rally road to take domains public and, um, Woo! they will be, you know, they will be trading before the year end. There will be Ooh, what you know. Do there will be? We're going to be taking the first domain names <laughs> ever in the history of mankind. We're going to plant that flag. We're going to take domains public, and any uh, anybody, not just uh, uh, accredited investors, but anybody who can buy shares of stock, uh, will be able to go in and buy shares of uh, some of the world's top domain names. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully, you know, we're going to try a lot of different things. This is a brand new market. It never existed before. Uh, you know, the idea is to bring in an entirely new audience. And, um, you know, it, it, look, I, I try to do what I say I'm going to do. I've been preaching on this thing for a long time now that, you know, the, the, the uh, everybody likes to talk about, you know, this and that and the other thing. The only way to grow the pie is to get out there and just execute. And that depends on valuations and bringing in new uh, 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 wallets into this market. And so that's what we're doing. And so I'm super excited about it. And, uh, you know, this is really, for me, this is like really the, the, you know, this is the flower in my cat, you know, the feather in my cap for my career in the domain space is, is this is what I have set out to do for the last 10 years. It's finally coming to culmination. I couldn't be more proud of the team and JT took a huge role in, you know, getting the docs right. And, and, and I'm, I'm super pumped. This is going to be, um, I, I hope, and I think it's going to be a, a game changer for the domain industry. So we shall see. We shall see. I just see. look at like, you know, I look at some of these, 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 not to just bring it back to NFTs again, but you know, the, these DAOs that are being set up in these individual like um, NFT projects, you know, it, it's all about fractional ownership. And, and so they go out, they buy a pool of, of, you know, punks or whatever it might be. And I mean, what we're seeing is a, basically on average, I was looking at this this morning, it looks like a 10x increase whenever a, um, a, uh, an asset gets uh, fractionalized in the DAO space, in the NFT space, which may or may not have anything to do with what happens in the domain space. Uh, uh, this is not financial advice, but what we're seeing is a significant appreciation in the asset because more people have access. And so the, the, the number of buyers who are uh, 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 able to participate is so much greater when you fractionalize an asset. It, uh, it just, you know, makes sense. And I think, you know, we're finally, for the first time ever in the history of the domain market, we're going to get some true price discovery. So, you know, obviously that's not going to happen on day one. We've got to develop the market and uh, I'm going to try and do everything I can do to make that happen. So, um, yeah, super pumped about that. Yeah, man. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a great opportunity. And, uh, you know, for a lot of domain investors, right, they can't buy a, you know, $200,000 domain by themselves, but they can invest in one. And, uh, you know, it's SEC approved, all that good stuff, you know, curated domains. Um, so, you know, I think at the, you know, at the end of the day, it's going to create a really, really cool opportunity for folks to get involved. I think it will absolutely bring other folks into the space. 
Um, and, uh, you know, rising tide lifting all boats and, uh, you know, should be a lot of fun. A lot of work went into it. And, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, big shout out to Drew. I mean, this was a vision of yours. Part of the reason I was excited coming on board in the first place because of these types of things. And uh, so, yeah. So for those of you who say we are not focused enough on domains, no, I'm not. It's it's all good. We're 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 just happy to be all, here. And hopefully all, all, I, all I would say <laughs> is all I would say is what uh, uh, who, who was it? I forget one of the presidents in, in one of the presidential debates, I think in the seventies, the eighties said, uh, I paid for this microphone. <laughs> hey, I thought you were going to be like, ask not what, you know, your yeah, exactly. domain industry can do for you. Ask what you can do for the domain industry. And uh, which you know. <laughs> equally, equally, equally important. Yeah, equally no, important. Doubt. no doubt. No. So all just, good. To, just to remind everybody, I paid for this microphone. <laughs> So anyway, so to circle it back, um, but yeah, that's uh, we've got a lot going on, uh, not to mention just, you know, we got the integration with Dan, which is about to go live shortly, too. You know, I think, uh, you know, we're kind of doing the grand closing here at the grand opening. But, you know, I just think it's important to make sure people understand. I mean, we you know, we're focused. We're doing some really cool stuff. We're having a lot of fun in the process. And, uh, you know, let's see what's up. You know, it's uh, I can't believe that it's been not even a year since you interviewed Michael Saylor, man. That's I mean, that feels like. It does feel like a decade has passed since then. But How do you think it feels for Michael Saylor? <laughs> <laughs> that man's age is like 100 uh, years. Oh, dude, for sure. Well, you know? he, but he also gained, he also gained about, what, $3 billion, yeah. $4 billion? Yeah, I mean, he's one of the most famous men on the internet now. I mean, it's just his sure. whole life is a totally different thing. Well, and I will tell totally you the thing about He went Saylor. from running the most boring software company in the history of mankind yeah. to... Yeah. Like the, literally the, the absolute, leader. yeah, it's, he's like the tip. He's literally the tip of the spear of the fastest moving. He's what, literally like, it's like a movie it. where he's like Jim Carrey or something got struck by lightning and goes from being some mild man. Not that he was mild mannered before, but you know what I mean? He's got this like mundane kind of <laughs> business. And then all of a sudden it's like, now it's like this completely crazy thing. And, but the thing about him, man, I mean, he puts his money where his mouth is. He does what he says yep. he's going to do. I mean, he's a boss in that way. And like, you know, and I think that is a lesson that folks could just learn about just in general. Like you say, you're going to do something. You say you're about something be about it and uh yeah. and, and he has proven that and it's his yeah. benefit i don't know about selling the house and putting it in the bitcoin i mean he, no, not, he I may mean, not be yeah. wrong but his financial advice may be a little risky for those that are not. <laughs> oh yeah yeah but he's done his but that's the thing it's like he's like do this you know you don't have to follow the advice but i think it's more about the mantra of he's like look this is what you should do and then he's not it's not like he's like one of these like you know, online, you know, a politician or no, an online no, no. preacher, he's not selling the book. you know, where he's saying like, exactly. He's like, you should do this. This is what I'm doing. Then he goes and does it. And then he's, yeah, and then he talks about this. it I'm from his yacht in front of all of, his, all of his mahogany. You know what I mean? He's like, you know, like my yacht smells of rich mahogany and has many leather bound books and shit like that. Like he's just yes. on some, like, he's a boss. He's sweet. As they say, sweeping the Bitcoin floor. Oh, dude. Yeah, he is sweeping the floor, man. He's just like taking the floor and put it on his big bag. And uh, anyway, so that's the intro to this show today. So I uh, covered a lot of ground like we do, which is why we even had to shift the way we kind of roll the show out. So we're about to get into some cool uh, stuff. Although, speak, speaking of Michael Saylor, I will say for the first time publicly, I think, that uh, that Domain X, the parent company of Media Options, uh has been uh, actively putting Bitcoin on its balance sheet. And we now hold a lot of that Bitcoin on our balance sheet. Uh, true. And we are going forward. Our strategy is basically we're going to just keep rolling 10 percent of our profit every month back into Bitcoin, put it on the balance sheet to the moon, and, uh, to the moon, to the moon, baby. <laughs> so moon. Michael Saylor, I salute Michael Saylor. I salute. <laughs> That's it. Speaking of Saylor, though, you sold your Saylor ape. You know what I mean? And uh, no, I'm just I'm, I don't want to no, I'm just playing. I don't want to get nope. us off track. I don't want to get us off track. Um, all right. But with that, we did the intro. We're going to get into the domain game. But first, we're going to jump to a quick commercial uh, from our sponsors, hear what they've got to say. And then when we come back, we're going to get busy uh, with the domain game and the rest of the show here on Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. Get money. Let's get the get, get, get money. 
Media Options is the industry's leading domain broker specializing in domain acquisitions, high value domain sales, and domain name consultation. As pioneers and thought leaders on the subject of the domain aftermarket and domain name value, plus through their clear domain acquisition service, Media Options offers startups and established corporations an unparalleled scope of high value domain options, providing access to domain names and curation technologies not available elsewhere. Media Options believes in the power of a great domain name and is dedicated to helping you obtain yours. Call or email today to put a domain to work for you. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We're here on Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains, where this is Domain Sherpa Review, and we are about to get into the domain game. So, um, all right. So with that, let's talk about what what uh, the details of a purchase or a sale recently made by the Sherpas. The other Sherpas are all going to guess the price. One thing, we got some feedback on uh, on the DomainSherpa.com uh, in the comments that I think was very, uh, you know, was, 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 was good, which is the way we've been doing it, we kind of gamified it a little bit more than we probably should have, um, where like the final prices that were being guessed during the game were like a dollar above, a dollar below, because we're very competitive by nature. So everybody was just trying to win the game. But, you know, um, the comment, what they said was that, and this is DM, that's the that's who left the comment. So thanks, DM, um, you know, that it doesn't allow the Sherpas to actually give their insight as to why they value a domain a certain way. Right. And uh, so they, so we are going to continue to keep score, but we are going to discourage that whole kind of gamifying. And really, we want to hear like when people give a price of what they think the name sold or was bought for, you know, that they provide some analysis as to why they think that number was. And we're going to not try to do that dollar up, dollar down, unless, you know, you really think that, hey, I agree so much with the person bidding before me or whatever. So anyway, so yeah, so appreciate that. That's why I tell you guys, look, we're easy to find. We're easy to communicate with. We're receptive. This show is about the audience more than it's about us. So, you know, continue to give us the feedback. And uh, to the extent that we think it makes sense, we're happy to you know, absorb it and, and act on it. So anyway, with that, so thank you for that feedback. That's all good. And uh, so with that, let's go ahead. Who's got the uh, who's first? Who's got the first name? <laughs> Technically, Shane, it should be you. I, I got one. I forgot I bought it. All I right. Like it. All right. You're going to love this one. This is going to be killer. Grow, G-R-O-W dot C-C. You know, I like C-C. Ah. Grow dot C-C row.cc all right let's get it um I've this is a, a buy this is a buy and it's g-r-o-w so it's the word grow.cc right yeah. not a funky spelling yeah. or anything mm -hmm. no nope. all right cool all Just right a funky Drew. ending yeah well you know, uh, all right i'm gonna say uh grow is a massive keyword though um i'm gonna say like 400 bucks 400 dollars for drew on the buy, I have no clue what CCs go for. So All right. 0.08 ETH. Okay, got it. <laughs> Everything in ETH. We should do. We should do a show where we do. Yeah, them we all should right. <laughs> Yeah. Um. All right. Go ahead, Josh. Hmm. I don't really know the CC market too well, oh, but you need to learn it. SLD. SLD is strong. Um. I think I sold driving .cc last year. Um. I'm going to say 550. 550. All right. So um, I actually think you paid more for it. I think this is a great name. I think it fits right into Shane's wheelhouse as to, you know, plant and gardening related domain names. Um, I think you guys are kind of underestimating CC a little bit. Um, and, uh, you know, and I actually think, you know, it's a short, the CC TLDs do better than just the general sort of longer extensions. Um, and, uh, you know, although it's not a dot IO and, and that kind of thing, I think it's, you know, a little bit more in like the dot VC, not as good. Um, so I'm going to go with 800. I think it was 800. And that is going to be my final answer. And that's why. So Shane. 808. No. 808. Oh. That's awesome. Uh, J, JT, stop cheating, man. No, Come hey, on. I didn't even do I didn't even look at it. I'm, Come I didn't on, look at the name man. bio or anything. You got that. You got that. Let, let me see that phone below, yeah, below yeah, the camera. Yeah, yeah. I know. Man, nothing. <laughs> um, all right. Well, good. You know, again, I, you know, I gave you the reasons and uh, Shane, talk to us. No, that's the same thing. I, I think you're seeing right now, and NFTs are a good one. People are using good keywords with alternative endings. Even yeah. XYZ is popping off lately. Um, yeah. uh, names .cc. There's no reason it shouldn't. Um, you're seeing dot .finance. You're seeing a. You're really seeing them open up the coffers of what they're putting at the end of their domain names, as long as the keyword fits exactly what they want. So, 
Um, yeah, I think if that's you get a, a, fair a point. good keyword at the right price, whether it's .gg, .vc, .anything that yeah. it's in the top 30, uh, you're probably going to do okay. Yeah, I mean, on my Twitter- too expensive because that's why they're going to those is because they don't want to pay $10,000. Yeah. And then once they get to a certain point, you know, then they've got to go to the dot com. And that's where, you know, we make our, you know, a lot of our, you know, living is in that space because then, you know, when they need that great name or, you know, we've got folks that have that kind of name available to the right target, um, you know, so I think you're absolutely right. I mean, I even for my Twitter bio, you know, I have jt.vc because I couldn't get jt.com and, uh, you know, link that to my LinkedIn and all that stuff, which, uh, so, yeah. So, no. And I think uh, so. That's all good. So I'm just, uh, you know, happy that I was correct. That always, you know, that validation <laughs> feels good. I just happy I so, won. <laughs> exactly. So and uh, and won the right way, you know, so it's all good. Um, all right. So let's with that, let's keep going around the horn. Uh, Drew, you're next with a buy or sell. What do you got? Say maybe something that I wouldn't know about would be kind of cool. So, yeah, I got you. I got you. All right. I actually really like this name. Uh, Galleon.com. Galleon.com, like, you know, the Spanish Galleon, like the big ships, the beautiful. Is it the Galleon? Galleon.com? No, it's Galleon.com, G-A-L-L-E-O-N. Okay, Galleon. All right, so Josh, you are first. Galleon.com. Like G-A-L-L-E-O-N, like the ship. Yeah, like the ship. Correct. Yep, I lived on a street, Galleon. Galleon Drive. Don't worry, yes. audience. He's just a little slow on the pickup. <laughs> it's, cool. it's cool. I thought there was the galley. Yeah. Oh, okay. It was a Spanish Armada that was so good. English. Eh. Yeah. His, his pri- oh. Josh's primary oh, processor is still trying to, is still working on NFTs. He's working on the backup <laughs> no. uh, processor for thinking about domains. I'm just having a, just having a look at some stats here. It's a good name. It's a good name. Um, I'm going to say you paid. 35 and, and i think that's a really good deal 35 but i think grand. i but I, th- I think that you get i mean i know that you get the good deals so 35 grand is that what you're saying yeah all right um so i do not know what we paid for this so which is good because this allows me to guess i think i'm gonna say twenty thousand, um because i think you know i don't uh, 35 seems high to me um, I think it's, you know, not easy to spell, but I did, I, we lived on a street galleon drive for at some point in time. And, uh, so I appreciate that. It was in a neighborhood where all the stuff was sort of nautically, you know, nautical or Spanish kind of themed stuff, you know? Um, and, uh, which I, you know, so I, I appreciate that the galleon just recently sold at Namejet for only a couple hundred bucks. Um, obviously the versus galleon, I think galleon could be a really cool brand, you know, the idea of the ship at sea, you know, there's, there's a lot of really, really cool kind of connotation and stuff that can go with that, especially you know, big sales and all that. And, uh, and just looking at some of the stats and some of what I'm seeing here, um, you know, um, I like it. I don't think it's the best name ever. So I think 20,000 is, is, is where I'm at. So, all right, Shane, what's up? Well, I was, I came in thinking where Josh was, but I also, as we talked, I think off air, I think there's some people right now that are trying to free up, free up some cash to try and get into this Ooh, NFT. You're going to apply a macro, shouldn't. some macro yeah. conditions to your analysis. All right. Yeah. I think I that like I, I do feel that there's, you know, I'm seeing some three letter doc. Well, I was there what a month ago. Remember I was trying to get rid of a three letter.com to buy more apes, which would have turned out to be a good thing, but would have been a great I'm not idea. saying they should do that. But that being said, I feel that not, like if I went to a guy in Mississippi and asked him what galleon was, he might think it's a deodorant or something. Um, Maybe it could be. Know. It could be the, the deodorant it brand. Could be a deodorant. Yeah. Um, so Get our cease and like I think Old yours Spice. is a little low. So I think twenty thousand. Okay. I feel a little low, so I'm going to just cut the middle and just go twenty five, just to be 25. right there. All right, that's fair. And then um, also the disclaimer that we should probably throw in the front. Billy, throw it up on the screen. This is not financial advice. This never no, is. Nothing. We're just talking to talk and, uh, you know, take, you want to live take, in your mom's basement. Listen to me, take it, take it for what it's <laughs> worth. You know what I mean? Anyway. All right. So with that, go ahead, Drew, tell us what is the, what's the verdict? 35 grand. Josh hit it on the oh, nose. Wow. Mm-hmm. Josh is in the database, yeah. man. Josh is that's in the, the, that's database. the number though. That's, that's the first number that came to my mind too. That's a, 
35,000. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and to be fair, I, I would have liked to have had it where Shane was at 25, 20 is a pipe dream. You just, I mean, okay. Yeah. It's one once, or, once, or, tw- yeah. once or twice a, a year, I get, sell. I get a great, great deal like that at 20 or better, but, um, uh, I, I still, I love it at 35. If you go into crunch base, there are like a ton of very strong companies using the word Galeon. This is a 96 name, I think, 1996 name, I think, or 97, I forget. And um, I like it a lot. I, I, I just, you know, it, it, it's one of those things, it's regal. And, and everything that just, yeah, you know. It, it definitely speaks to some, like, yeah. you know. And kind by of- the way, like, the, the, the logo of OpenSea, not to bring this back to NFTs again. But you're right. But it, seems like, it seems like all roads lead to NFTs and domains. But <laughs> um, uh, the logo of OpenSea is a galleon ship. It's literally what it is. It's not a sailboat. It's a galleon. So, um, yeah, I, I like it a lot. I think, I think Galleon's a great brand. All right. Well, I think that's all. I mean, yeah, Shane, I you're muted. Think- yeah, I know. I, I have Open Swim. I hadn't gotten e- any offers on Open Swim in years. And all of a sudden this year, I started getting Open Swim offers. You know, nothing high, a couple thousand here and there, a couple hundred here and there. And I was thinking, why do they want Open Swim? But I think they want some tool for Open Sea or something along those lines. To mm. uh, That's the only thing I can think because otherwise. I only bought it because it just reminded me of being a kid. Like when you remember all the, they'd have open swim where only adults over 18 could go. Yeah, and swim. absolutely. And you're like, man, yeah. how do I get in on that? Got to get out of the pool. The, um, so let's see. I'm just trying to see if I've got, I don't know if I even have a name to throw into the mix, but I guess I'll, uh, I'm digging, I'm digging deep. Um, go to Josh while you dig. Cause he bought something just for this. <laughs> Well, whose <laughs> turn is it? It's my turn. Oh no, it's it is Josh's turn. Actually, it doesn't so. have to be your turn. There, we can. <laughs> yeah, we can. no, we got to go in the right. We got to go in the proper order, man. I mean, there's a there's a there's there's rules. There are rules. All right. So with that, all right, cool. So Josh has a point. I've got a point. Josh is up. Let's see if I can bring this thing home. So go ahead, Josh. Because if I can um, get this next point, then you can make the argument that I should just win and we call it. So <laughs> don't have to mention a name. All right, go ahead, Josh uh 88 shop.com 88 88 shop 88 shop.com <laughs> so i'm gonna say this is a 250 dollars domain name i've got 420 dot shop so i'm saying I bought 200... that for like 10 grand in a in a in a live names con auction they did <laughs> so 88 88 dot shop is seven g's with a seven thousand dollar renewal <laughs> yeah and that renewal is hard to swallow so seven um, so by the way though my 420 got shot i got grandfathered in at the at the like super low renewal so if anybody's interested in grabbing it holler at us and uh keep that in mind it's cheap renewal save grandfathered in. a year renewal save seven g's by buying two it years that's yeah. it just buy it right now two years well no that's if we were willing to sell it for seven g's in the first place right no i'm saying oh, 14, for 14 g's you'll yeah. sell it for 14 g Come talk to us. We'll, 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 we'll entertain any and all offers. So $250. That's the, so that's what I think. Let's move on to Shane. Your, your brother's got some editing to do. I know there's going to be editing. Well, cause it, for those of you at home, like I, my internet keeps cutting out. So anyway, so that might be a little choppy, but my, my, my vote still stands at 250 bucks. Um, I don't, I don't dislike the name. So, uh, and he's got two things that do sell, 88 shops. So I'm going to say, God, you got the numbers exactly right. I'm going to say more. I'll say $400. I'll say 0.08 ETH. <laughs> 0.08 ETH. I like it. All right, Drew. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm much lower. I'm going to say 122. Okay, 122. All I don't right, even gosh. know why I throw the extra two on That's there. But. 0.02 ETH. I paid. I paid five hundred bucks. Oh, whoa! All right, and bring it. I paid five hundred bucks. It's taken in twenty-three TLDs. Uh, There are multiple brands out there that use eighty-eight, followed by you know eighty-eight market, eighty-eight merch, eighty-eight whatever that's fair you buy? You I buy? Man. I f- oh man figured. my my girl ape just sold right now 
You're selling all your kids apes, man. You're eight kids. Oh man, I got a D, I got a D list. I got a D list. All my apes are getting bought. What did it sell this for? This is crazy. What did it sell? 34 for? ETH. 34 ETH. You had her that's listed too low, man. That's like the floor that the right floor? now. You just sold it. You just made a the floor is the worst hundred thousand dollars you ever made. <laughs> the worst hundred thousand. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. What'd you pay for? Since we're talking the domain game, we're talking the ape game. Set. Seven, 17, 17 ETH like like ten days ago. Oh, that's it. You only turned seventeen <laughs> into thirty four in uh, in ten days. Yeah. Right, yeah let's get I mean, back to the, why, Let's talk about eighty eight shop. Galleon. Let's talk about eighty eight dot eighty eight shop dot com, guys. You know, let's. Well, let's just it. say Galleon is now paid for, so we'll keep going. Yeah, that was free. Yeah, so that's Galleon good. Galleon is now paid for. See, that's oh, how man. it works. Like again, not to get off eighty eight shop, but money is money. And if we make money selling brooms and we bring it into the domain space, it really doesn't matter where we make our other money. The fact that we're making money and sharing ideas to make money, it all comes back to domain. So yeah. the, the only thing that you will be by not exploring alternative investments, you will be behind because you don't have the advantage of having more money than the people that are there. So people mm -hmm. that let's say people that are new to the domain space that got lucky on a couple of NFTs, they now have a lot more money to get back into domains. I'm not saying switch over, but, but it's, it's digital assets. So that's, that's sure. kind of where we well, go I back. think it's so, an interesting, well, I, and this is something we don't have to get too far into right now, but I think that, you know, you talk about market dynamics and kind of the macro piece that, you know, you alluded to before, um, you know, so there's this thought, like, and I think it was Andrew Alleman just posted on, uh, and I think he's probably has an article coming on this about, you know, are domainers spending less time slash money on domains because they're spending more time and money on NFTs, you know, but I think you could also make the argument that by domainers being successful in NFTs, because right now the NFT market is booming, it creates more liquidity and provides more opportunities yes. for domainers to buy domains now, you know? So I think it's Absolutely. one of those things. It'll be interesting to see the way it plays out and kind of the trends and maybe in a short term over a certain period, of, a couple of days on Namejet, there might be a certain impact one way or the other, but you know, overall, I'd be curious to see which sort of side of that kind of prevails, you know? And, well, I uh, will say, I look at a domain name and it's 3000 and I'm like, that's a, shitty nft that i bought why i oh, should yeah. at least buy a good domain so it's really devalued currency well so here's the thing so for this yes. show, kind of yes. like what josh literally said. <laughs> so like josh said i was going to jump in and buy a domain just for the purposes of the show right and i went into after nick and i looked at their premium listings and they've got um you know and i had to shut down the browser because it was causing my computer it was it was acting goofy but they had judgments.com for like sixty six thousand with the e right so it's like first of all it's not the right spelling and for 66 grand that's complete like garbage right so why would you know what i mean like why would i waste my time even looking at a domain like that when like you said for that same amount of money like you know you could buy yourself an ape you know although now the ape <laughs> floor is like a hundred thousand but and then another one they had there was another one that was like never too late but it was to trying to sell that for seven thousand and i get it people are going to price whatever they're going to price but you know but that's what's being promoted right now, like on one of the premium marketplaces as their premium inventory. And it's like, you know, I'd rather I'd rather sort through curio cards, you know. But uh, anyway, I'm just saying. But I think it's those are interesting dynamics when you talk about like, you know, and there is something to be said, too. Like when we get into some of that conversation about domains and NFTs and like, you know, the usability of the platforms. Right. OpenSea has some of its issues. But I think, you know, I'd rather spend the time on OpenSea and Rarity tools. They, to me, they're much cleaner and work much better than Namejet at times where I'm going to put back orders on domains that never make it to auction or, you know, things like that. It's also interesting when you sell something on OpenSea, you get the ETH in your wallet immediately, right? That instant, um, you know, instant payment. I mean, it's like as soon as it sells, you get paid. That's Drew, also what happened, with, what happened with that. Was it a mistake on your end or what was the deal? I mean, I have to be honest, I still don't understand, but a bunch of very smart people that I trust say that I'm the one that has, mess, you know, or, or I'm just not understanding how to read the wallet. But I mean, I've been messing with Etherscan since 2016 or 17. Like, I, I don't know. But for whatever reason, I mean, he sold an eight for 39 ETH. The 37.05 after fees showed up. I could see it in the wallet. Sold that glitch crystal for 
I don't see it. I don't know. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but apparently I'm doing something wrong. So the blockchain. Uh, shout the blockchain out OpenSea. Is, the blockchain apparently is broken. Not your fault. Yeah. The blockchain so, is broken. Uh, <clears throat> But this yeah. shows where our opportunity lies in domain name investing and the fact that we don't know the sales. We don't have any data to play with. We don't have quick payments. I mean, Dan's done a great job moving things a lot quicker than everybody else. They yes. really stepped it up in that. Um, mm -hmm. But it is nice to have money literally within seconds of selling something to keep moving. Uh, yeah. We don't have that in the domain name space. And again, kudos to Dan, at least moving it to a day. I mean, before we're waiting four or five, six, they'll take it out of your account in a heartbeat. The domain leaves instantly. Oh yeah. But then no, and, then and getting the, paid, you're still going through traditional finance methods. So, well, yeah. And even like a room to run, you know, I ran name Jeff for years and, you know, it wasn't like we didn't want to get people paid right away. You know, but people would complain sometimes about the time that it would take and, you know, but it had to go through all the proper, you know, we had to be careful about fraud and, you know, and then we had yeah. a, multiple accounting steps to, to deal with, you know, as well as, the banking system itself, you know, and when for us dealing with a big company that was, you know, pretty rigid as far as its accounting sort of processes and schedules, because we had reporting and closing the books every month, every quarter, you know, we only paid out once a month, right? And then, you know, but those were conversations that we had all the time about, can we get, can we pay, pay our sellers out weekly? Can we do a, you know, bi-monthly distribution? Like, how do we make that happen in a way to make buying and selling domain names more frictionless. So really quick, this, and, and so where are we at with the domain game? Cause I have an, I, I do want to talk a little bit about dot ETH. Who won the $500 one? Me? That was you. So you got a point, I've got a point and Josh has a point. So let's do this to not make it. So Drew, why don't you give us another name that I wouldn't know about since it's one of us three that would win. And then that no, way, no, you got to give a name and you can't win. Uh, you already got three shots. What if Drew then gets the point? Then we're going to have, then how do we solve that? You know? All right. But that's fine. Okay. I don't even know if I, I I'm li literally out of domains at this point. Well, then know. let Drew represent you and you can't guess. And then Josh and I get to choose. <laughs> that seems also not awesome. That doesn't seem right either. Well, well um, all right. Fine. Gone. All right. Let, let's go rapid fire. I'm going to pull out a name. These guys get to guess. If it's something you don't know Do about your million dollar one, I want to hear what that was. There was several. <laughs> I can't disclose it. There was several. There was several. There's several. That's what's wrong with several. domains, right there. You got millions of dollars, and I can't see shit. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, that's a whole other interesting aspect it, around put the blockchain. Put it on the ether scale. Put it on. I need to see it on the blockchain. Yeah. Um. Okay. All right. Um. Uh. Let's go with. Uh. Sanfelipe.com. San Felipe. All your domains have an accent. Yeah, San Felipe, baby. And he breaks them out with the oh. accent too. You know, did you buy that? Or even did you the way, that? Even the way Drew says I the word, it. even the way Drew says the word domains, you know, is, is interesting because he says domains like it's like Dominios. So now Dominios. I say it that way, like all roads lead to domains. You know what I mean? It's like the, the Drew accent on, on the word domains. Now that's how I say it. You know, I used to be like it's called it's spelled, I mean, it's, it's, spelled with, it's spelled with a hyphen. It's spelled with a hyphen. You know that, right? Uh oh. The domain doesn't. What are you talking hyphen, about? Right. Like San Felipe. It's like it's a hyphenated place. Do you get the hyphen? I lived there for <laughs> ten years, bro. Do you get the hyphen? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't get the hyphen. It's not hyphenated. It is. No, the, it's I like don't a French. It's at. like it's like a French. Um, is, it's I don't know French. what it is in French. I I I, I didn't buy it from France. The <laughs> French don't pay. The French don't pay anyways. Um, oh wait, is it is it not a place in Quebec? I, I I have no idea. It's probably a place. You know, it's one of the saints. It's probably the name of like five million different things. You know, because it's, it's just it's one of the saints. All right, stop stalling. Uh, Let's go. This was supposed to be some quick round. Let's go, Josh. Well, Josh is going to definitely go low. I see. Yeah, I mean, yeah, after you guys did me dirty on my hey, 8 8 job, I'm going for like 35 bucks. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, uh, I think you paid San Felipe. Yeah, let me look it up. It's you can't go no, look no, no. this shit up. You can't I just go look I this need... shit up. What, what, what this is was this? supposed to be. I just need to look at. 
I just need to look at the stats a second. I'm going to say 300 bucks. 300 bucks. <laughs> we used to make people put their hands up. 300 uh, bucks. I'm going to say 5,000. I'm, I'm going to say 5,000. 5,000. Uh, okay. Um, I don't know. The number's probably not really high. I, just, I feel like I needed to go. I needed to go way high just to kind of offset your un, yeah, under. Yeah, just under. To, the negative in there. That was awful. Um, <laughs> I'm just looking at the stats. <laughs> I'm looking at the stats. Maybe I'm spelling it wrong. Maybe I'm spelling it wrong. This is the same guy that bought CyberCong, so we don't have to. <laughs> hey, CyberCongs hey, uh, did their thing. Made, made, made a shit ton of ETH, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, uh, I will, I'm going to cut bro. the middle. I'm going to say $3,800. All right. Just because I don't know anything about it. All right, Drew, what was it? Uh, 4,100. Oh, shame. What? With the big win. All right. Man, I'm going to have so many sweatshirts. I'm just going to have a 4, whole closet. I know. You so, just need to either so, you can either order it and expense it or just tell me, send me the address and I'll send it. Yeah, exactly. So. so this was actually a really meaningful domain for me. I've literally been trying to buy that domain for 13 or 14 years. <clears throat> that's the the old town excuse me the old town of panama where i used to live is called san felipe mm. um and uh that's why i bought it and i've been trying to buy that name for 13 or 14 years and uh literally just never got a response it never resolved and then uh looks like it expired and i grabbed it so uh i don't I, what i was wondering you know i think it was you michael seiger bidding against me i don't know I think it was Siger bidding against me, though. That's a bad look. Um, if not, I apologize. Do you think <laughs> that, that was you? The, that would be the one that takes his portfolio to nine names from eight. Is San Felipe? <laughs> when would when did that end? That auction. A uh, couple days ago. How do you you spell it? S A I N T P H I. No, listen to this oh, guy. San, no, San. S A S A N. F E L I P E. Oh God! He put a PH in there and the I. <laughs> no, I. So what? He's how would you? About how, how, he how would you put an accent on it, dude? How would you pronounce S S A I N T P H I L I P P E? Saint Philippe. Saint Philippe. Saint. That's the <laughs> that's the <laughs> Spanish version. Yeah, yeah. He just, that's the English <laughs> version. Oh man. All right. Well, yeah, anyway, I mean, so all good. <laughs> I think at the end of the day, Shane wins the domain game. I think we covered a lot of ground there as well, um, and with some pretty good insight on those names, some pretty interesting things, and uh, some some pretty interesting buys. And uh, so, yeah, with that, let's move on because we're running out of time and we still got to do the uh, the name jack in a jet segment. So with that, we're going to jump really quick, see what our sponsors have to say. We'll be right back here on Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. FD was built by domain investors to increase your inquiries, sales and profit. Forget spreadsheets and archived emails. Manage your entire investment portfolio in one place using a secure and completely confidential platform. Learn more at FT.com. That's E-F-T-Y ft.com what's up everybody welcome back to domain sherpa domain sherpa review here where all roads lead to domains and uh, we are moving on to segment three which is name jet and a jet sponsored by the good folks at name jet got my name jet shirt on see i'm still rocking that as uh, per contract even as opposed to some of the media option swag that we've got uh now in this segment what we do is we go through a list of domains about to come up for auction on name jet and uh, we talk uh, about what we like, what we don't like, what we think might be a good buy, what we might be some names to avoid. Uh, also, if you go to domainsherpa.com, you can pull an Excel spreadsheet that has all of the domains as well as the Estabot value uh, for what it's worth, all, as well as the amount of bidders uh, as of the time of taping, how many days left in the auction as of the time of uh, airing. And then, uh, you know, along with some other uh, hopefully useful information. So definitely check that out. I think we got a pretty good list here uh, this time. So with that, Josh, I've got you on the list first to go ahead and talk about some of these names. You got the list. What do you like? What do you don't like? Let us know what you think. Sure. Um, I like Bitcube.com. I think Bitcube. that's a cool name. All right. Uh, you know, that's just 
I just see that as clearly like a crypto brand of some sort. Of Cube yeah. Cube names have always done. I think one of the earliest registered domain names was Data Cube, uh, mm. which someone in the domain industry owns now. I think that's like a Brad, Brad, yeah, Brad, Brad. So well, Data Cube is a what 1987 registration. Yeah, that's cool. So yeah, but Bit yeah, Bit Cube is kind of reminds me of that. Good, great name, great brand. Um, I've got brand- KSR.com. That's 87. KSR. That's cool. I think the earliest one I've got is like a 92. Maybe I think I'm the only, I I think I'm the only person in the world who has a domain portfolio with a domain from every single year since the inception of the internet, except for 85, because the only domain in that year was symbolics, but I've got 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, all the way to today. What's your 86? Um, uh, something, something weird. It was some obscure, <clears throat> some obscure name. Probably like a dot net. No, it's a dot com. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's like, it's something like with an A and it's, uh, uh like a, like a, it doesn't mean anything. It it's has like no value up. other than, other than the registration. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It's an, it's yeah. a digital antique. By the way, I would like to, you know, I am the person who coined the phrase digital antique. You hear it here first. <laughs> I've been saying that shit for years. All right. Who's got digitalantique.com? That's just, that's like, that's, that's an exact match term, man. You can't coin that. Oh, you can. Digital Digital antique. antique. Yeah, damn right. I mean, I'm going to, I think I even bought the domain. I think I even, no, 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 no. It's on, it's on huge domains. I'm going to buy it right now. I coined that shit. Uh, oh, it is. (laughs) Buy it now for 6,100 bucks. Oh, who's going to be the first? (laughs) <laughs> no, I'm not over payments. <laughs> uh, but hold on, I think I had, I think I do have, I have one of them. Maybe digital antiques. Let's see. I was gonna say you could get the plural if you don't. No have shit, I don't have that one either. That one's only twenty one fifty five. Oh yeah, that's on Brand Bucket. So I should probably buy that for twenty one hundred bucks, huh? Yeah, that you know what, that would have been a good one for me to buy for today's show, if uh, you know, if I had seen that. If you had been the one that coined the term. Yeah, exactly. See, I didn't even know that was a thing until now. Legal, now you can't like, buy that. Well, I mean, exactly. digi- digitalcollectibles.com. That would be cool. Oh, that's good, too. Digital assets is the best, though. So whoever's got that is really in a good spot. So anyway, all right. Well, let's keep it moving. So BitCube right. is a good one. I do. I agree. I think that's great. Eh? Uh, what else you like? What else don't you like? Brand easy is cool. I can definitely see that selling. Um, yeah, it's just good good name for a branding agency a great name for a branding agency actually it's got the um, list back orders out of all the domains that are on this list which i think is interesting i wonder if that's because it's sold before or you know it's also the appraisal is not super high now you know that's not necessarily determinative but i think it still you know kind of matters and uh, dude I, I really like this i really like this list actually. thank you thank you i you know for some reason i don't know why i take personal like pride when the list is good <laughs> you know what i mean it's like i did, i mean the names are what's on the platform i just go through and do my search stuff and pull them up and all that but you know it's curated right so uh you know and when we uh and when there's good there is a lot of good stuff on here so climb high climb high climb high.com is a great name stats aren't that good but great name i mean yeah. well, that's I, a that's the type of name you put put a buy it now for 20 25 grand i think it sells yeah um yeah honeybadger.com like that has to be something because i get a coffee from that from that kookaburra place called the honey badger yeah so, well honey badger so honey badger is an animal and it's is it actually known, a yeah it would well, drew you an wanna, lsu cornerback drew, <laughs> right well that's what tyron math uh, matthew was like that's his nickname is the honey badger but he's called the honey badger because the honey badger is one of the most like fearless animals in the animal kingdom drew i you look like you want to it's just funny it's just funny because of the youtube videos you know it's like honey badger don't give a fuck yeah you ever, if you <laughs> if, by the way oh, by yeah, the i way, know, I know if, what it is now <laughs> if you've never seen if you've never watched the honey badger don't give a fuck video on youtube <laughs> like i just go watch it because it will it'll just make your day better it, it just will. You know what? I'll put it, it in the I'll put it in the description down below, like kind of where you can grab the name jet list. I'll put the link to the YouTube video in there too. Maybe we'll throw. Dude, that's it a great yeah. name, Is that Honey like, Badger? It's a well, great. Honey Badger don't give a fuck, yeah, and that's sim- the whole simmer, point. Yeah, simmer down, simmer down. 
Oh, oh. it's taken in 136 TLDs. Honey Badger's gonna yeah, go yeah, for like yeah, yeah. Honey Badger's go gonna go one. for like 100 Gs, let's bro. Think, <laughs> let's, 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 let's move on to the next name. Let's put a pin in that. It's a five-figure name. Oh, all let's, the way. Let's, no, let's Honey Badger's in going like high five, huh? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Well, I don't know about high five. <laughs> hey, but Billy, it's hey Billy. Hey Billy. Hey Billy. Yeah, edit this guy. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, just let me just let me check Crunchbase real quick, Billy. Yeah, just to see so. how many brands are called yeah, Honey Badger. What's the next name? What's the next name oh. you like? All right. Well, Josh, you can't take them all anyway, man. We got to keep this moving. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, go, so. go, 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 go. That's the best name so. by far. All right. So that's his favorite. All right, Drew, what do you think, man? Let's go. You go next. So um, I actually think that the best name here is Offshore.org. Yeah, I love that. Which yeah. I, full, full disclosure, I definitely will be bidding on. Um, but I think that's a killer name. Um, you know, I, I don't want to steal Shane's thunder here, but Guardian Tips is also a <laughs> hot, that's a hot name. Hot uh -huh. name in a hot sector. Yeah, I put um, it in there for Shane. I put it in for Shane's benefit. I knew that was yeah. coming at me and Honey Badger. Probably. <laughs> uh, but the, the one that actually blew me away was uh, Chattel. I literally don't, I, I don't think I've ever heard the word Chattel, mm -hmm. like Chattel before. Yeah. Um, but chattel.com. So, I, you know, I was like, all right, it's got some search, might even have a little traffic. And I was like, all right, so what is chattel? And I thought it was going to be like a, a different language, but it turns out the chattel is uh, individual uh, property. It, yeah. It's, it's personal property, property, property that's not real estate. So it's like, you know, chattel and, and it's a legal term. Right. And, uh, you know, so it, you know, back in the day, like, you know, would use for cows and, you know, I mean, I think cattle, chattel, but like, you know, it was personal possessions and there's a lot of like, you know, old school case law and everything that talks about, you know, rights, chattel and, and you know, and, and trespass to chattel and things like that. So the uh, but yeah, and it's an interesting word um, and could really be used in a cool way, I think, in, you know, in a domain name, depending what it would go for. So, and it's got a pretty high estimate value, right? It's 31, 32,000. So it's not like it's, you know, completely, you know, so obscure that it's got, you know, it's not getting picked up by the bots and the algorithm. So, but um, yeah. So, yeah. So what else, what else you like, man? Don't let's not have, this uh, I mean, I don't want to take, I don't want to take everything, but like, I, yeah, I mean, I kind of like the whole list. I, I, um, I like climbhigh.com a lot too because it's kind of a call to action, super positive. You know, like it's kind of like you know, get up out your chair and do something. You know, it's yeah. it's, it's you know, it's like ambitious. It's ambitious. Yeah. Um, you know, it's like make the play or 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 uh, you know, do the work. It's it's just a great climb high. It's a great phrase. It's a great positive you know thing so i like that one a lot uh it also looks like it's got a bunch of traffic um you know they're all good they're all these are all almost yeah. everything on here is good well, i'm high could i'm be not a sure really about cool outdoor brand you know that kind of thing i, I see that as like yeah. uh, i'm not big on brand easy i mean i it's not terrible it clearly could be like you know brand bucket type of thing um but i don't love it but it's also you know it's not what i would like delete and i'd certainly buy it for you know, cheap. Uh, yeah, I don't know if there's be? anything on here. Be? Yeah, what would be cheap for brand easy? What's the price that you pay? Oh us? man, I mean, bucks? cheap these days is like, yeah, a few hundred bucks is, is cheap these days. I guess. Okay. Used to, I, you know, we used to. You know, you don't have to go back that far on this show where it was like, yeah, I'd pay sixty nine dollars for it. And today, yeah. if it's worth buying, you won't get it for sixty nine anymore. There mm -hmm. is no single bid names anymore. Yeah, no, I'm with it. All right, well, with that, Shane, it's either a doing? zero, it's either a zero or a hero. Zero or a hero. <laughs> No doubt. Shane. Yeah. And I mean, I, this, this is the kind of names that I buy. I mean, this is, I looked at climb high. I bought rugged earth. It kind of yeah. reminds me of the same thing. And, uh, you know, also I like refuse to quit. It's a name I have. It just kind of mm -hmm. exudes something when you hear it right off the bat. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was hoping you hated honey badger, but honey badger's a even, you know, I like honey, but even that's a great honey name, but it's a anything. Oh name. yeah. Uh, yeah because of that. And then uh, gardening tips is a build out cash cow. It's, it's, it will generate a lot of traffic if you build that thing out and it's perfect for me, but I just can't build out anymore. I'm, 
Yeah, I you're off. got Phillip. too many things I'm working on at the same time. I still got Hawaii, you know, big island. Oh, that's right. I, we talked about that on one of the shows. The, um, yeah, honey badger. I wasn't even thinking about honey for you. I might have to add that as an AKA, like sugar Shane, yeah. honey Shane, the honey badger. The honey badger. You know what I mean? Relentless. I yeah. might. Yeah, exactly. Because the funny that's thing, thing is, I think about the football player. I mean, I honestly think about yeah. being on defense. Not everybody would think that way. I think, uh, I mean, all the, I loved offshore.org just for obvious reasons. Um, space place is fun. Sounds like a great kid. It's like you'd love to take your kids over to space, space, space place and play yeah. like uh, tag or something. Play groups mm-hmm. are great like children's name or social uh parenting like stay-at-home mom dad group. thousand percent playgroup.com is one that i was hoping somebody was going to talk about because i think like knowing that you know here especially with covid you know homeschooling and a lot of times what the what they'll do with parents that'll homeschool their kids it's funny and maybe it's different in different places but when i grew up you know the kids that were homeschooled were like you know there was not as prevalent right um, so I don't want to make, I don't want to say anything negative or anything. Right. But, you know, nowadays homeschooling is, you know, has become so much more widely accepted. Um, so many more parents do it. Um, and here, and like I said, post COVID, I know it's happening a lot more, but you know, the kids get together to do their, you know, their social interaction and their extracurricular, almost like their gym time, right. Is done through play groups and things like that. Do you call and them play dates? I mean, we literally call them play dates. Yeah. Well, play dates are like just for the kids to get together and hang out and they are they're yeah, like, Yo, can, I I mean. have a, can I have a play date? So like playgroup.com could be a whole kids, like, you know, kind of thing around organizing, like you said, like, you know, whether it's play dates or, you know, groups for the kids to be doing some of the recreational stuff, whether it's, you know, in conjunction with homeschooling and things like that. But, you know, I think that that one could be really, really cool. Or even like an app necess- that does some of that yeah. stuff, um, I think could be could be really cool. So, uh, but yeah. yeah, I like that one a lot. But And I think Gothica, we didn't talk about that one. It's a fantastic, like dark. If totally. It's just some people I'm that s- love that theme. Like, you know, I've got uh, women at work that always wear black and everything they like is, you know, darker that's just what that's their their what vibe what yeah. are y'all doing at work dog i thought y'all did no, like flowers and like, stuff yeah that's exactly <laughs> right it's a totally different i mean she just like has two pit bulls and she just oh, yeah. you know just cool and free and part of it's being uh you know we used to call you know goth i mean there's a word for it Sarah, oh 100 percent. that's goth is short yeah. for gothica and i think it's yeah. like wild to me the uh that it's actually so uh, the estabot's way low on that in my opinion i may sell for that on name jet but nine thousand bucks i mean i think that's the name that's just you know um yeah you know it's, it's kind one of, of the like, better names on the list as an overall brand and but you know uh, i i really i think that's definitely a great name yeah so uh, the only name that i don't it doesn't do anything for me is snappers i mean it's not a bad name but it sounds like a, but it's not but you know, look. So snapper, you know, it's like a like a red snapper. I think about the fish, yeah. and um, you know, it's like that could be. I I bet you Maybe in Florida there name? are probably a, there's a hundred restaurants called snappers, restaurants or bars yeah. or or yeah. you know. Now, what are they going to pay? Right, they're going to pay five grand, ten grand. You know, so. You know, it's not a name I want to put a ton of money into, but I actually like the name. I I, I like well, yeah, and I think it could be a great product list. name, right? Like imagine something like, you know, with shoes or could also be a good and, adult website. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's gonna be a possessive, you know, it's gonna be a possessive S, not a plural. Yeah, well, it could be a plural. That's the thing. If snappers yeah, 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 are yeah, yeah. let's say snappers were a it thing. Like, remember those, you know, those bracelets. It is that, a thing, it's a, it's a it's a fish. You know, I yeah, know, I know. Also that. You know, but the bracelets, the, the snappers, if you had like, you know, you could oh, see a slappers, trend, weren't they? I don't know. Slappers. Is that what they were called? Like I don't slap know. Bracelet. Yeah. yeah slappers. Yeah, slap bracelet. Yeah. Slappers, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. flappers, whatever. Like, so yeah, I think that one's an interesting one. And look, we say this all the time. It, all these names are worth buying. It ultimately is going to come down to what the price is that you're going to have to yeah. pay to get it. But yeah, I think it's a great list. I was pretty psyched putting it together. I think urban retreat is a great domain. You know, I think yeah. that has, you know, that, um, and also Name again, gonna do great on this name. You know, jet's going to jet with this list. Name jet, name jet, gonna jet. Yep. And then travel bottles, yeah. which travel bottles is cool too, depending on what you pay for it. Right. I mean, it's like, there's no doubt that's a product that's, you know, I use it as a piss bottle. <laughs> so that's, <laughs> that's, the thing. 
Let's yeah. see. There you go. Hey, you can't stop. Got to go. You got to keep rolling. <laughs> Hey, man, I don't know. You, you gotta man, get the you, travel bottle out. You're like, you know, you, uh, yeah. Hey, little, little. That's good amount of information. You know what I'm saying? Hey, was, every family well, travels different. All right. I'll tell you, man. If you ever, I've, I, you know, I cannot pee in a bottle. I tried that like one time, and it was a terrible. Because you don't have a travel bottle. Exactly. If I had a travel bottle that was made for that, like you know, um, just make sure you wash it before you actually try to drink <laughs> out of it the next time. But um, yeah, so I think that we've covered literally covered them all, and rightfully so because again there's there's 14 names on this list they're all great um you know they at least at certain price they're all great right at some at some point they're not but you know i think these are all uh you know pretty pretty interesting names you know we didn't talk about any of the recent sales um and i've got a couple here to, to kind of mention and then we can move on and close out the show but you know some recent stuff we had saxons.com which uh sold for three thousand dollars compared to an appraisal of 12,000. I think we were, you know, not super impressed with that name. It was kind of like, how's that going to be utilized? So price wise, I think that kind of came in sort of where you would expect it to maybe even a little on the high side. One thing I think is interesting is we talked about best rentals. Uh, it had an appraisal of about 3,500. It sold for 3,000. It's pretty close, but bestshop.com, which we talked about on the last show, sold for almost 82,000. Right. So obviously wow. they're clearly different domains. 82,000. Yeah. You had best shop that sold for 82 grand, best rentals sold for three grand. You know, do you think on name jet it sold for 82 grand? 82 grand. Yeah. Two, There's no backlink history or juice. I don't know. I don't know. Didn't Josh, didn't we talk about this on the last show? He's like, wait, what? Oh, he's like, oh, we're still taping. He's like, I'm off on open sea. I'm like, really no, work. no, bro, no, no. no. <laughs> I, I just, I just, you want you? I, I can't say more than what I said last time about how that's just like not a cool. No, thing. look, I mean, there is, what is you want me to no. Say? He just thought <laughs> 88 shop just went I just want you to be value. engaged, man. You no, know what I'm saying? You bought 88 listen, shop. Listen, like, I'm waiting for you. I'm, I, 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 best shop is just the re most ridiculous price ever. Uh, there yeah. was a steal last week. I'm sure you want to talk about it talk about it toros.com that was a great great buy. what, what was it? it toros yeah T -O -R -U -S. what was it r-u-s t-o-r-u-s toros taurus yeah but yeah it's but not it's not the actual u-s right no no no, no 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 is the right spelling no no t-o-r-u-s is the spelling for like a sphere it's like a donut shape yeah and it's sold for 28 I've never five. heard of that 12 or 20 28 g's i think yeah it was a, it was a great why is that tell me why that's a steal I don't even know what well, that there's is. Just a, there's just a ton of big Me brands either. that, I don't know that, that know use that, that name. Is. Just a ton of big brands that use that name. I don't really know what it is either. Or it's I a do, shape. I, it's a shape. It's it, uh, it's like a revolving circle. So it's basically it almost looks like an inner tube. You know what I'm saying? So you have the circle, and the circle continues to go around. In like yeah, a, you take tourist.com. I'm taking intertube.com. Well, it dude, does look dude, dude, go go to Crunchbase, type in Taurus. I mean, you've got Taurus yeah. Lab, you've got Taurus uh, Capital, Taurus Group, the crunch Taurus base card on him. You played the crunch dude. base card, son. The crunch the crunch base card is is the card. That's it is the, the card. Like it if you card. if you want the card, go to crunch base. Yeah, that's you. fair. Yeah, Taurus. And and that's the thing. Keep in mind, right? If you especially we're talking art blocks and all of these like, you know, geometrical, like, you know, um, you know, uh and and ongoing you know, type of like, uh, you know, movement and motion. I don't know what a Taurus is, but I know what you can open Methanopolis is. <laughs> and, uh, a George Stephanopoulos? <laughs> Billy, show them what a Taurus is. Show them you what a Taurus is. Put a Taurus on the screen right now. Show them what, a, what that deal is. Give them the image and all that good stuff. Boom. And uh, that's for those of you who are at home. Watch the show as opposed to listening if you can, because there is definitely a lot of good value that we're providing in post-production and just seeing our are pretty faces anyway. Um, anyway, so yeah, so that's some interesting stuff. I think uh, some interesting sales. The Taurus one I thought was pretty cool. Ozaki.com was another one we talked about. $4,000. Oh, like that that was a good deal. Three grand. Yeah, I thought that was, that a, good was a good deal, deal too. You know, I was surprised that sold. I thought that sold low. Not that it represents much, but, you know, it's a pretty short, pronounceable, you know, term. Um, and uh, I don't know if it necessarily has like a Japanese like uh, translation, but I think there are... Uh, you know, there was definitely some stuff that came up in uh, Wikipedia. I know it's a surname, things like that. So um, so I thought that kind of sold low. So maybe I don't know. Are we seeing, you know, is this the impact on some of the prices? Maybe is this is this the NFT effect before folks now are cashing out? Are we going to about to see a big old bump in domain names, especially now that we dropped this episode with all these highlighting all these good names? I don't know. Dude, we I would say see. I would say that I would say, you know, in general, like domain 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 name like Maxis. 
with the you know they they don't like nfts <laughs> no that's, no that's and i think they're, they're, I mean, they're still focused on their day-to-day knocking out domains and hey it's all good hey everyone can focus on what they want to focus on listen yeah so I said, listen, I thought I'm, you said, I mean, listen, Drew, like, Drew, I'm a, 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 obviously I'm Drew, obviously Roxy. Drew, obviously Drew is, is a domain name Maxi Maxi, but uh, other than Drew, like the actual OGs, most like all of the OGs hate it. They hate it because they're yeah. still trying to buy EMDs. <laughs> well, you know, so what I think is interesting too, though, is, you know, so the dot ETH, I wanted to bring this up. I don't know if I mentioned this on the last show, but um, I, you know, I, I registered an ENS domain name, game7.eth, you know, to replace my wallet address, right? And uh, so if you want to send me anything, send me something cool, you want to send me some ETH, go ahead, send it to game7.eth, make that happen. Um, but I went through the process because, you know, I've seen a lot of people do that and, I, and we've talked about it on the show and I yet to actually go and register an ETH domain name. So I went and did, I probably could have done that while I paid registration fee, but I could, we could have talked about that in ETH actually. But what was really cool, one of the positives was that I was able to change registrant, controller information, you know, effectively transfer from wallet to wallet, like super easy. I mean, it was as easy as just like going in and just hitting it. And then it's registered on the blockchain. It's transparent. It's, you know, it's verified effectively or at least recorded. Um, you know, so there's a certain level of integrity there, which I think is really cool, but I will say this to be able to change it. I had to pay gas every time. So maybe I was changing the stuff during a time when the gas was high, but you know, to change the information cost me five, $10. Right. So, you know, you're not going to do that all the time, but I do think it's an interesting point that to register the domain was like 15 bucks or something. And, uh, so similar to what you'd pay to hand reg, uh, uh, .com generally available.com domain, but to make some of those changes, which was from a, a convenience standpoint, was pretty useful, helpful, quick, easy, and all that good stuff. But it did cost me extra money to do that. So, you know, which I thought was kind of an interesting aspect that would be a negative on that, on those, you know, sort of the blockchain domains. You know, I don't know if it's like that for a lot of them, but I at least know for the ENS stuff. I mean, you guys had any experience with that or? I haven't never done anything with the ETH domains, to be honest. Yeah, you know, I, mean, I, know I, I, should, I should go back. I mean, I, so... <laughs> I mean, when this launched, um, you know, I, I, I was in the ICO for Ethereum. And when, when the ENS names launched, I mean, I grabbed tons of these things. I had literally, I had, I, I don't know. And I got all the names for all the people in the domain industry, like the big players. I got Frank's name. I got Rick. I got Birkins. I got all these people. I got, all these people, I got them their, their ENS domains, their .eth. I got company names. I got all these people. I got a bunch of generic killer names. Um, and the truth is, is I have no idea where they are or how to access them or, <laughs> or, <laughs> well, I think you've got to renew I them. I, no, you know, you do. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, I think, maybe. Yeah, I think you do. I think that they're I, when, different. Well, when you, when I bought them, okay. The way it worked was you put up a bond, right? So, you put up a bond and if anybody else outbid you that that was the new bond right and so when the auction was over whatever i had paid for the domain it's not you don't actually pay it you're not you don't spend it it's literally held in a bond on a smart contract and then in order to um uh let go of the name you have you release the bond and you actually get the eth back and so i would sure like to find where these names are because you know, I probably have a bunch of ETH locked up in this thing. And it was like probably 10 bucks or 20 bucks when I, you know, when I did that. And now it's uh, worth like 10 grand. <laughs> yeah. And now, you know, now ETH is 30, 3,300, 3,500, whatever it is. Oh, 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 so sure. uh, I should probably find those. But I had, you know, probably 200 dot ETH names. Um I got, you know, no clue where they are. Yeah, now it's different. It does, you know, the bond thing, that was not how it was. It was simple as going in and if it's available, you register it, you pay the gas and you pay the registration fee and then it's effectively yours. But I believe you got, you have to renew it though. So, um, and I don't know if you get renewal notices. Like, I don't know how that's going to work, right? So it's like, you know, and that's another interesting angle. So it's like, yeah, you're not going to get bombarded with renewal yeah, but notices. It doesn't make any sense. What, who would you be renewing it through? Because like mine that I bought were directly on the blockchain. Like there was no intermediary. It was a super pain in the ass yeah. actually. 
but yeah, no, so yeah. Well, um, I don't know. You know, it's something, you know, what we'll do. We'll, we'll, we'll kind of clarify that on the next show. We don't need to necessarily go down yeah. that rabbit hole right now, but I did think the interesting point that I wanted to make was that, you know, you might not be paying some of the traditional fees, but you are paying certain fees, but the, uh, but it is pretty neat to not have to have that big long wallet string and just to be able to tell somebody to send it to, you know, Shane.eth and, you know, they can literally it's send you. ETH. Is that what you have? See, boom. Yeah. So that's what's up. So anyway, so with that, um, so, you know, just to kind of tie it all back to domains, but I think we covered a lot of ground. I hope you all enjoyed the show. I appreciate the, the Sherpas for being here, guys, as always. Thank you. Thank you. And to the audience, like I say, in every show without you, there's no us. We appreciate you all taking the time, hanging out with us. Hopefully this was insightful and informative and entertaining. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to hit us up. You can find us on Twitter. You can find us on social LinkedIn um domain sherpa.com put a comment in as you saw we were responsive to the one comment that we got uh recently talking about the uh the pricing and the the way we play the uh, domain game so you know get at us we're uh, we're here for y'all and uh, again we appreciate you and uh, we'll catch you all next time here on domain sherpa where all roads lead to domains take it easy <laughs>